Okay, it says we're live. Um, I really am just testing this out. I am new to Twitch and I wanted to try doing a live uh, stream on Twitch. I'm just trying to grow my YouTube channel and add it to more platforms. So this is the craft haul that I just got today in the mail. And I was excited for it because I love the Distress inks. And I also got some die sets. Um, these I actually got the other day, but this coming today. And this is to make the magic sliders. And i not really done much. I did make a little dummy one to see how big it was. This is the principle of it. And so I'm going to be doing a video on how to make one of these uh, very soon. So, um, let's see. I'm sorry about the test while ago. Um, when it said I was live, I was just seeing if I had all the settings right. So, um, I, I don't know if anybody else is big into using dies. I really wasn't at first, but I've really grown to like them now. So, I've really grown my collection. Um, check out my YouTube channel. I um, have several things on there about where I buy these. Um, actually, I bought these uh, here from Walmart on walmart.com. I also have a video on my YouTube channel on showing you how uh, walmart.com is actually a good place for crafts and how to search their website for it. Because a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times they're cheaper than even Amazon. Because I use Amazon a lot. The 90% of my crafts that I buy is from online. I don't buy directly from the craft store, especially around where I live. They're way overpriced usually, very right? unless they're running sales. Um, so I'll go through the things I just got today. Uh, as you can see, I added some more to my distress line. Um, I think I have like 28 <laughs> colors now to the distress. I also have all the matching um, reinkers for all of them because I have to have the complete set of everything I have. It's a sickness, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, but I have all those. Cause I, I, the reason why I fell in love with Distress, I wasn't a fan at first and didn't even own them until recently. I was like, what's the difference from them and your standard ink pad you buy? Well, there's a huge difference. They're much easier to blend, and since they're water-based, which these are too, most of these are, um, when you put water on everything, it just, I don't know, it's really cool how, how the effects you can get with Distress ink. You can kind of get the same effects with these, but it's just a lot more to work at it. These work so much better. Um, the only other ink that I use is not distress is when I'm stamping my stamps and I want to color them in. I highly recommend the Spellbinders uh, Celebrations. And it's a hybrid ink, so it acts like a dye ink, uh, I mean a pigment ink, but then it dries like a dye ink. And so you're, when you're coloring it, it doesn't smudge the uh, lines. So I highly recommend this. But anyhow, so I, I got these, and I already have these magnet um, plates here. I didn't realize how weak they are. Look at that. The things just fall off. So I actually got these today. These are a lot stronger magnet sheets. So I bought a pack of them. So they'll actually stay on there. Because these, I had to tape some of these on because they just would not stay on. So I'm, I'm glad to get those so I can put those on that. Um, the other things I bought was this die set to make grass. And this die set to make the ocean waves. And I got this new stamp set because I did a card uh, video on my YouTube, but you'll go, if you wouldn't like to go back and look that up. Did a couple graduation cards. Here they are. Um, but I didn't have any sentiments to put in this. I had no graduation sentiments. So that was one of them. And this one's the other one. I just love those eyes. <laughs> they pop out. So that's the reason why I bought um, this stamp set. So I can now add a sentiment. And I got this on... Um, now these I got on Amazon for a really good price. I think 10 bucks. So these were really good price. 
Now the next thing I have, I think I have a illness right now for sequins. I don't know why I have so many. I just got this today too. I didn't realize the package was so big or so many. Um, I'll show you guys. This is my sequins practically package and I have way too many already. I really like these. These all here are by the Doodlebug Designs sequins. I also have, these are really cheap ones. I didn't really like them after I bought them. They're, I mean, they're okay. I like because they're different sizes. So I have that. And I have this one that's completely full. I also have buttons. All kinds of buttons. So. I also got some clothespins here for embellishments. This is my embellishment box, as if you couldn't tell already. So I just like to do it. Here's a whole bunch of gems. I'm going to put it on projects that I've collected over the years. Um, many of the brads that I have, which come in I really hand. I really like these micro ones or mini ones. So I have a lot of sequins, so I have bought so many more. I guess I didn't realize the package was so big, but I like the clear ones like this, the iridescent clear ones. So, got those. Um, and another thing I wanted to show real quick was uh, with this die set, which is called a postage stamp dies. And I like this one because it has a stitch around it and also the postage um, border is because I like making my own backgrounds and so I recently had acquired all 12 of the Doom Distress Oxide inks which I did a video on those too. go back to my YouTube channel and look that up um, so I just used I made them on little square pieces of um, cardstock and then used these to cut them out and like these here I thought would be great for making your own little um, embellishment stamps, but like a little um, bug or a little, you know, um, animal on there. And you can put adhesive on the back and use these as like card sealers or part of the actual card embellishment, however. But I just try to use up all my scraps as possible. These are some more scraps that I actually use my die set to cut. So I can use these down the road one day for um, backgrounds. And these are using those distressed oxides, which is just amazing. It's hard to describe how it makes the paper feel, but it's, it's different than regular ink. And see how you can layer and they don't muddy? You can see underneath there, there's the bright green and there's pink on top, but there's no muddying of it, which is really cool. That's what's so neat about distressed oxide. Here's another one. So, and there's some more. It's really, it's really cool. I really highly, highly recommend the Distress Oxides. I was very skeptical of them too when they first announced them. I'm like, why do I need those when well, I've already put so much money into the regular Distress inks? And honestly, there is a big difference. Because um, the Distress inks, even though I love them, they do muddy very easily and quickly when you're trying to build your backgrounds. So that's why I the Distress Oxides work better because they don't do that. They actually layer, which is it's hard to explain or to say but they do um if i show you maybe i have another one of those here's a couple cards i have made by hand this is a neat friendship card i also make my envelopes too and um i get these i got this file uh card base uh, from melody lane she just started a twitter account so look her up. It's Melody Lane 815. Is I think her Twitter name on there. I'm trying to see if I oh here we go. This is what the regular um, distress ink, how you do the backgrounds, and I love them. But see how they kind of muddy though if you're not real careful. So that, that's what's so cool about having the oxide. So well, this was mainly just a test of my live capabilities. I am going to try to start doing some more live videos, especially as my channel grows. Right now, I don't have that many people, so I know that I'm probably talking to the wind here. But um, 
I just wanted to try it out, make sure I have my settings correct. Uh, so I will, I think I have it set to save everything. So hopefully if this video will be up on my Twitter or, or Twitch account. So if you think I have any ideas or any tips or things to help me, then just leave comments and I always appreciate those. And like I said, don't forget to check out, I do have, um, I think buttons on my profile there that takes you to all my social links and also to my YouTube uh, page. And that's why I mainly post most of my stuff. But I will try to do some more here on Twi uh, Twitch as I get more acquainted with it. Because this is literally, I just opened my account today and I'm new at all this. So you have to bear with me. Well, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.